day everybody welcome to Paul's Backyard Garden um, today I'm just gonna be uh, doing some highlights on planting some brassicas and some root crops and a little bit of uh, work that I'm doing around the area today so I just drilled out this uh, the soil and I'm just gonna plant some more some more cylindra beets and on this handy dandy measuring tape or yardstick that I got on it has um, what kind of plants you can grow and what uh, what spacing to put them at so this one here says uh, every two inches so so we'll do Finally stopped raining. Got probably close to 30 or 40 millimeters of rain today. And we're calling for flood warnings and, and everything today. But here in this area, we seem to be okay. Everything is just good and wet. So I'm sure once I cover these seeds up, I'm probably not going to have to bother watering them. This soil is super wet. We know that uh, any brassica type family or plants like a firm soil to grow in. So I just pack this down pretty good here. And I just like to use one of these. These usually work pretty good. And I guess you really can't see that too well, can you? I guess you can. It doesn't hurt to plant them a little bit deeper. They don't see. They don't seem to mind that at all. So we'll do that. Get the mix back on. I just like to pack in a little bit more. This just gives them a fighting chance against the, uh, the cutworms. Right then, we're going to plant some carrots in this RGGS system. And uh, these are the kind I'm going to grow. These uh, carrots grow to uh, extremely long variety, about 10 inches on, on average. So. Uh, let's get these planted. They're super small. 
See if we can just get a couple. Easier said than done, they're so small. There will be thinning. Okay, so next I'm going to plant some Cylindria beets, which I got from a good friend. And these also, I think I can fit nine in this, uh, in this bucket system. And they go about a half an inch deep. These are actually not seeds, they're actually um, like a cluster of seeds put together. So when these grow or sprout, they will have to be thin to the, uh, to the strongest uh, cluster of, of seed here. I've never grown beets or carrots indoors before, so this is definitely going to be fun to watch develop. And my disappointment for this year was I actually planted uh, six cucumbers uh, indoors. And out of the six, only two survived. So I guess we're just going to have to plant these ones the old-fashioned way and just stick the seeds right in the, right in the dirt. 